Hey, good morning and welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. A topic that is dear to my heart and what passionate one about is surfing and uh, none other than this is a, one of the panelists that I've been, been highlighting and wanting to hear more about. This is Women Surfers are hosting the Under the Radar to discuss their journey of breaking down barriers while battling uh, a male dominant sport. As we all know, uh, surfing can be an intimidating sport and these ladies here are joining me now to talk about their impact and how they're telling their story and sharing their story to help other female surfers uh, tra help the, you know transition to the sport and learn about it as well. I mean, for joining me now, I'm going to go ahead and tell me your name's Angie, right? Angie. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Lisa. Mika. And Mika. Hi. Hello. Uh, talk about this panel that you guys have uh, going on that's going to be highlighting. You guys are both sharing your stories as uh, surfers and you, what you've done to impact the community. Um, I'm curious to know the purpose behind it, obviously, right? And also uh, sharing your stories. So go ahead and, and tell me. Uh, well, I'm just really honored to be here and um, to represent women in surf. Um, I am late to the game as a surfer. I just started surfing a few years ago and I'm in my 40s. So um, it's just, it's, it's an honor. And um, I guess, you know, part of our mission with Under the Radar is to really help people realize that anything's possible. Right. And um, so I'm just really happy to be here. You're not late to the game. I myself <laughs> learned late as well. Uh, I learned when I first moved here. So, uh, yes, it's nice to see other female surfers out there in the water, the impact it, it makes to the community. Um, tell us your story, professional yes. woman surfer. Yep. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Lisa Carulli, and I'm the one putting on this event. I work for the San Diego College of Continuing Education. I've been there over 20 years, and we put on many community events. We really are the college for the people of the mm -hmm. community. We've been involved in all kinds of events, from the Martin Luther King uh, breakfast and parade to women's history events. And so I am honored to be able to put this event on today. I've been surfing over 40 years. It's not just a hobby. It's my life. Um, and I dedicated about 12 years of those 40 to being a professional surfer. So I'm really excited to bring these ladies into the panel today at our West City campus in Point Loma. So hopefully people will show up. It's from 12.30 to 2.30 this afternoon. Thank you. And then can you uh, introduce yourself as well? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, my name is Mika. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been surfing with Lisa for years Perfect. and years. Um, and I actually work in manufacturing. I work for Sharp Eye Surfboards which is one of the leaders in manufacturing in the world right now. I'm a machinist and I also paint surfboards and it was really important for me to be on this panel because there's not a lot of women working in manufacturing right now especially on the level that I am with high performance shortboarding and large scale production so it's nice to be included and be able to share because there are a lot of hurdles that you have to overcome as a woman in this industry. So. Absolutely and with surfing alone is a sport where it's, it's always fluid. You're always learning something new every day whether you've learned surfing for three months to three years to 30 years right. You guys all have different skill levels but I want to ask what was a pivoting moment for each of you to say you know what not only do I love the passion of surfing and the sport but I want to make a difference in inviting other women to do the same and encourage them to get out there in the water because I'll tell you when I first moved here eight years ago I sat on the beach in PB and just admired the female surfers and the, today some of my closest friends I met were on that day at that beach eight years ago and to the say we paddle out there. And so I know the mission that you guys are doing, but can you please share briefly your stories of what was your pivoting moment in your, in your time? Um, I, I just want to say we're all from Ocean Beach, so we're OB locals. Nice. And one of the interesting thing about Ocean Beach is there's not a lot of lady surfers there. It's not the most user-friendly wave. So uh, part of my philosophy and what I have become is to lift each other up and not put each other down. And mm -hmm. so women surfers, you know, competing, you kind of get competitive and you want to beat that person. But here, here in OB, we're we're a tribe, and so it's very, very community-based, and so we support each other in the water. Awesome, and what was your pivoting moment for you to join? And well, I learned to surf in Ocean Beach and um, played in the white water for many months, yeah. and I was welcomed. I was welcomed by all of the, the surfers who have been there for years and years and years yeah. before me. And um, so I've, I've had a really beautiful experience in, in being welcomed into the water, and that's what, that's the representation that I want to have for others is that you're always welcome and um, there's nothing to fear out there. <laughs> well, on some days there, there is. <laughs> Very good. 
And yeah, I don't, I've loved surfing, and I love surfing with these ladies, and I think like the fact that we can all share in the experience was really a pivotal moment for me, because when I don't want to surf, Lisa's there to like mm -hmm. get me out in the water if I'm complaining about how small the waves are. <laughs> the women help me, and they keep pushing me to move forward, and yeah. so I think the camaraderie that we have was a really pivotal thing for me. Absolutely, yeah, and like I said, it takes one female surfer out there to kind of encourage you to paddle out, and it, that's all it takes. I mean, it's a lifelong friendship, but also uh, a community uh, coming together to share a sport that they all love and like I'm sure many surfers have known like you can't change the wave but you can learn how to surf right <laughs> and certainly I admire what you guys are what you ladies are doing and um, I am one of them who's been inspired by surfers like yourself so thank you it's a free event um, and all that information is on the screen for you guys I will be there I want to check it out so yeah definitely check it out thank you. all right Join us. yes there you go this information on